All people with refined taste. Chomp time. Brought to you by the Medical Center of Southwest Louisiana and Women's and Children's Hospital. Welcome to Chomp Time. My name is Andy Davis. And I'm Don Murdoch. A couple of new faces for you this year. The gentleman to my left, our new head coach. And uh, Coach, welcome to Lafayette. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, it's great to be here. Um, I'm coming here from the Tampa Bay Lightning, the National Hockey League. I was there for nine years uh, running the team there, right from scouting to uh, director of player personnel. And uh, I'm excited about being here in Lafayette. Well, uh, you had a taste, your first exhibition game uh, this past week, and you got to see a couple chomps and uh, the fans up in this building. I know you're looking forward to seeing all the fans in this building. Well, it was great. Like you said it was an exhibition game and you hear so much about the chomp I was excited to see it and I hope we uh, see quite a bit of it this year and I'm looking forward to coming in here and uh, filling this building up and getting crazy with the hockey club. Well it was your first actual game behind the bench as a head coach how did it go for it, the exhibition game? Well it was I was a little nervous at the start but I mean the players played really well I was excited about it and like I said with enthusiasm from the fans and from the players aspect uh, it was pretty good it went overall really good and I'm excited about getting started this year. Let's talk a little bit more about yourself of course you came from Tampa Bay which you were a great player. You broke into the National Hockey League with the New York Rangers. I used to watch you when I was just a little guy <laughs> living in Rye, New York. But talk about uh, your first year in the National Hockey League. You really tore it up right off the bat. Well, yeah, I came in as a 19-year-old. I was the number one draft pick for the New York Rangers, uh, six overall, and uh, things did start out really well for me. I had 16 goals my first 16 games and uh, ended up having a pretty good career there. I played there for five years, moved on to the Edmonton Oilers, got to play with the great one, Wayne Gretzky, uh, Mark Messier, players like that. And then I ended up with the Detroit Red Wings organization where I finished my career there and I moved on to scouting with the New York Rangers, Tampa Bay Lightning, and bang, here I'm in Lafayette. So things aren't too bad. Talk about making that jump from being a player to moving up to the front office and the scouting aspects and, of course, now the head coach. How did being a player prepare you for that? Well, I mean, you take your knowledge of the game with you. Um, as a player, you miss the camaraderie. I remember the first years I was out of hockey, you know, miss just being around it. But then getting into management was kind of like getting back into it. I mean, as a player, you've got the dressing room, you've got the commodity with your players, going to lunch and stuff. As management, it's a little more of a serious side, but you're still involved in the game. And that's what I liked was, was getting back into hockey. It's my life. I've been there since I was four years old. So, uh, you know, overall, I can't complain. I mean, I've probably been involved in hockey for probably three quarters of my life. So I'm excited just to be back here. Well, I've got a gentleman here this year helping you out. We're going to talk to him next week, but Dennis Holland is your assistant coach. Talk about him a little bit. Wow, Dennis is great. I've known Dennis and his brother Ken Holland uh, for a lot of years. His brother Ken and I played together at junior, so that's where my it starts with Dennis. I've known Dennis since he was about eight, nine years old. I watched Dennis play hockey in Portland where he was a star in the Western Canada Hockey League. Dennis went on, had a good career in the pros, and he played in Europe, and the uh, last two years he's been in Toledo as an assistant coach, and when I was taking this job, you know, I needed a good assistant because I'm getting new at this, and when I knew Dennis was available, I knew I wanted to work with a guy that I know that uh, would be good that I can work with. I didn't want to bring an assistant, hey, say, two months into the season and we don't really see eye to eye on things, but I knew getting Dennis would be a good match and uh, everything's worked well. And Dennis is going to bring two years of good experience to us and someday Dennis Holland will be a head coach. If it's not in this league, it'll be in another league. So we're excited to have him. Well, this is the first show of many. We're going to get to know you a lot better as the weeks go on, but uh, thanks for introducing us to yourself. All right, thanks for having me. And by the way, Andy, where are you from? Well, uh, not a long a hockey history as you, but I've, uh, I've been in this league for about six years now. I was in South Carolina last year and uh, Richmond two years before that. I played a little college hockey up at uh, Geneseo State, which most people down here have never heard of. I don't even know if you've heard of it. <laughs> that's, and, a, that's a tough question. Uh, and uh, certainly, I got hurt, and that was the best thing that ever happened, because I started radio, and I don't think my hockey career was going very far. So I'm glad to be in the booth, and, uh, and looking forward to watching all you guys play this year. So I'm looking forward to this year as well. Oh, I'm sure we're all glad to have you. Well, thank you very much, and we'll be back with much more Chomp Time right after this break. thinking lately. All things considered, I'm pretty special. I've had choices, made mistakes, but if I had to do it all over again, I wouldn't change a thing. I'll never be a size six again. I'm getting older, but these things aren't important. What is important are my needs, my health, and my children's health. These are things I'll never compromise. Your life, your needs, your hospital. Women's and Children's Hospital. Fair with Falks, but you know that. Falks has lowered prices on Kelly and Hallmark tires and custom chrome wheels. We've added more selection to our two boxes, and we will continue to keep prices down. 
Come in and check out the new flex top retractable truck canopy, steel cowl induction hoods, and chrome front bumpers. New stainless steel grill guards at the price of chrome. What a deal on stainless steel. Go to Fox, go to Fox, go to our two locations. The new. The all-new 99 Sierra, the truck for the one percenters, those who want more. A more comfortable interior, a more powerful Vortex V8 engine, a stronger, stiffer, lighter frame. The reviews. 99 Sierra is arguably the new state-of-the-art in the full-size truck business. A deal. Now, get special smart buy or smart lease payments on all new 99 GMC Sierras. See your Cajun Country GMC dealers today. Around here, values matter, land matters, friendships matter, and at Hibernia, service matters, the kind that brings value and convenience to you. Checking and savings accounts that actually give you something back. So why not switch to your hometown bank? We understand the things that matter most to you. Hibernia, where service matters. Hey, get a load of the old timer. That there is the legendary Radio Robert. Who? 20 years ago, he was unstoppable. Had a slap shot you could hear but could not see, hence the nickname Radio. Yeah, well, they can call him Rusty Robert now. Hey, Rusty! Don't, don't say it, Tony. Still got that shot, Tin Man? Let's see it! <laughs> oh. Punk. Hey, maybe you should be a gully, Tony. Tony? As a business owner, you know that you can spend big dollars on printing. That's why it's important to make the right choice when it comes to choosing your printer. Someone with integrity, quality, service, and delivery is what it's all about. At Express Printing, we can take your ideas from inception to completion all under one roof. From color brochures and posters to letterheads and business forms, Express Printing can make your business stand out among the competition. For attention to details and quality, remember Express Printing and Forms. Welcome back to Chomp Time. NHL Exhibition was here a couple of weeks ago, and uh, Coach, you had a couple of, a chance to meet these two gentlemen. We weren't here when they were here, but Rob Balasevic and Dan O'Rourke both played for the ice skaters. Dan's now a linesman in the National Hockey League. Of course, Robbie's playing, and uh, it's great for the East Coast Hockey League, and it's great for the ice skater organization to see these two guys up in the National Hockey League. Absolutely. When you can get a player to come down here and move up there, that's what it's all about, and I know that uh, talking to those two guys, they're really excited. Well, let's take a look at what they had to say. Uh, it's just a great honor for me uh, to play in front of these fans again and in this barn where it all started. Uh, for me, it's just a tremendous honor. It's a feeling I get inside of just, you know, it's just something can't be explained. Pure excitement and, and just happiness to be back. Tell us about what you're looking forward to. These fans seeing you back on the ice here, obviously they're going to be a little riled up and, and happy to see you tonight. I just want to put on a good show. Hopefully, uh, you know, the National Predators are going to win the game and, you know, just hope all, all goes well and as we want it to go. Uh, just don't want to make a bad showing and, you know, hopefully I can give the fans what they want. You tell us a little bit about the Predators team this year. Of course, you spent a majority of the time up there last year. Talk about this year's versions of the Nashville Predators. Uh, we got a lot of talent on the team this year. Uh, a little more goal scoring. We had some injuries last year, which sort of hindered the team. But everybody's healthy right now, and uh, we got a top quality lineup going in tonight. So it should be a real good game. And obviously, uh, your brother's here watching you tonight. You played with a couple years here in this building. Uh, talk about playing in front of your brother, Chris. <laughs> You know, I don't know. It always seems like one way or another I'm playing in front of him, whether he's watching it on TV or, or whatnot. We seem to watch each other quite a bit, and, you know, we've always been real close, and that's never going to change. So uh, just like anybody else, when I play in front of family, I want to do well and, and uh, hopefully make them proud of me. Talk a little bit about how Lafayette and Louisiana and the East Coast Hockey League prepared you for making the jump to first the International Hockey League and then the National Hockey League. I, uh, coming in out of college, wasn't sure what to expect. Uh, came here, and the people and the management here were unbelievable and it also helped playing with your brother and you know it could always guide you and, and show you which way to go so it just sort of gave me the confidence I needed to make each step and I took the confidence from and everything that I learned from here to uh, Houston and you know just applied what I had learned and just kept moving on up. 
We're looking forward to seeing you tonight. Best of luck, and uh, best of luck the rest of the way. Thank you. Dan, uh, obviously coming back to the Cajun Dome now, uh, an employee of the National Hockey League. It's got to be a great uh, experience for you to talk about tonight's game. Yeah, it's it's, uh, it's been a lot of fun. It's been uh, it's been sort of a whirlwind type thing lately, uh, getting hired there partway through the summer and, and now trying to get everything on, uh, getting used to everything again. And there's a lot of learning to be, be had again. And, uh, but it's, it's nice to come back to a building where I feel comfortable. Talk a little bit about the hiring process. How did the National Hockey League contact you, and uh, what were your thoughts when you first got the call from them? Well, uh, that, that's exactly what it was. It was a phone call, and, uh, you know, it was. I got a message about 9.30 at night, though, one night, so I, I wasn't able to, to return a call. And, you know, it was, it was pretty tough to get through the night to, and sleep, kind of wondering what it was, you know. And uh, But that's what it was. It was a phone call and, and, and an invitation to, to uh, come and work for them and, and come to their training camp in Toronto. What's the next step for you? Talk a little bit about this year and what games will be working at what leagues and all that kind. Um, this year, I think it's it's going to be uh, back and forth between the American League and the NHL, and uh, I don't know how many games in in which league or, or at what time of the season. But uh, you know, hopefully, if things go well and, and uh, I do do a good job and stuff like that, uh, it'll it'll lead to a, a full time hiree next year. Well, the fans certainly miss you on the ice as a player. They like seeing you here as a linesman, and especially tonight back with the National Hockey League. Best of luck. Thanks for joining us. Thanks very much. Their looks are as powerful as the performance they deliver. They are Yukon and Suburban, GMC's full-size sport utilities for $19.99. The dominating size, the muscular stance, and the fine detailing of a luxurious interior. It'll make you feel like you have the power to go anywhere. Feel the power. Drive a Yukon or Suburban by GMC. Your GMC dealer now has special smart lease or smart buy payments on Yukon or Suburban. So what are you waiting for? See your Cajun Country GMC dealers today. when it comes to choosing your printer. Someone with integrity, quality, service, and delivery is what it's all about. At Express Printing, we can take your ideas from inception to completion all under one roof. From color brochures and posters to letterheads and business forms, Express Printing can make your business stand out among the competition. For attention to details and quality, remember Express Printing and Forms. Welcome back to Chomp Time. Time now for Ask the Gators. And this week we found out what the players did during their summer vacation. And Coach, what did you do during your summer vacation? If you had a vacation with all yeah, the moving you had to do. I didn't have a whole lot of uh, vacation time. Uh, the little time that I do, I like to golf and I like to go to the beach, water sports, stuff like that. But I didn't have much of a vacation. It was more or less coming from Tampa Bay and moving right into here. But uh, in the short time I do, I like to enjoy myself on the golf course. Well, let's mm -hmm. see what the players did this summer. Ask the Gators, brought to you by the Medical Center of Southwest Louisiana and Women's and Children's Hospital. Chris, uh, tell us a little bit about what you did on your summer vacation this year, if it was a vacation. No vacations for me. Um, did a little babysitting, 
Uh, try to get my old body back in shape most of the time. Play a little golf, but uh, summer was way too short. Your summer vacation wasn't much of a vacation. You were working up in the office, but talk about what you did this summer. Well, I uh, did a lot of work with the, with the Gators, and then a uh, month of June I did my own uh, hockey school, Andy, with uh, a few of the guys, Dan O'Rourke and uh, Marty Uchuk, a few of the ex-players there, and uh, did a lot of coaching with uh, the inline travel hockey teams in the area, which was a lot of fun. And um, Along with that, did the Discover Hockey with the Gators. So uh, it was a busy summer, but uh, had a lot of fun and had some time to, to train and stay in shape. So. Stan, uh, talk about the summer, a long summer this year. What did you do uh, to spend your summer vacation? Well, uh, I went home for two, three weeks uh, this summer. I also uh, worked for a buddy of mine, uh, pouring some uh, concrete, forming it up, and it was pretty hot out here, but uh, I guess uh, you get used to it. So if anyone wants any foundation work done, Gary Alsander, best in the business. Matt Peg Beauty, uh, talk about your summer vacation, what you did and, uh, and how you spent it. Well, it was a nice and relaxing summer. I just went home to uh, Sudbury, Ontario. Uh, play a little golf. For some reason, I, I can't get any better at the game. I'm, st I'm still terrible. Traveled a little bit. I had a couple buddies from college that uh, that got married, so I went to their weddings. Just uh, just stuff like that. I had a good summer, though. John Wickstrom, uh, first year with the team, but let's first talk about the summer. What'd you do all summer? Uh, I stayed back home in Sweden. Went to the beaches, relaxed, practiced hard. Just had a nice summer. That's all. First, before you came down here, talk about how you spent your summer. Obviously, uh, you were working hard, but tell us a little bit about what else you did this year. Uh, well, I was at Michigan State, and I finished school. I got my degree, and uh, other than that, I was working out and skating and just having a good summer, playing on a boat a while, and, uh, you know, it was just a good summer. had a good time. Ryan, uh, talk about how you spent your summer vacation before coming down here to the ice skaters. Uh, well, I just uh, finished off my degree in finance at University of Lethbridge and uh, just worked out and got ready for the season. Sean, before heading down here, tell us what you did on your summer vacation, if it was a vacation for you. Uh, I was sitting by the phone waiting for a contract, you know, but uh, no, I got to uh, do a lot of hockey clinics and, and spend a lot of time with my, uh, my family out in California, but uh, it, was, uh, it was a good summer. Anytime you get a chance to relax and enjoy uh, some time with family, you know, it's always good. John Spolter, uh, tell us how you spent your summer vacation this year. Whew. Uh, a lot of traveling around. I kept my apartment here so I could have a home base, but uh, just visit a lot of people, a lot of friends, different cities, and uh, just anything that fun. Jay Murphy, uh, I'm sure you had a very exciting summer. Why don't you tell us about it a little bit? Well, uh, I took a little trip, had about a month vacation, went to uh, Martha's Vineyard and Cape Cod and Disneyland and uh, spent a little quality time with the wife and her family and got to see my family too. So I had a good month there, and the rest of the summer I basically just worked on my house. Get a load of the old timer. That there is the legendary Radio Robert. Who? 20 years ago, he was unstoppable. Had a slap shot you could hear but could not see, hence the nickname Radio. Yeah, well, they can call him Rusty Robert now. Hey, Rusty! Don't, don't say it, Tony. Still got that shot, Tin Man? Let's see it. <laughs> oh. Punk. Hey, maybe you should be a gully, Tony. Tony? Fill with folks, but you know that. Bed Covers Folks has fiberglass that comes in black or painted to match your factory color. Heavy duty aluminum roll top or the no drill clamp on vinyl at the right price. Nerf bars in black, chrome, and stainless steel at a real good deal. Folks has hitches, tailgates, headache racks, bumpers, and a large selection of grill guards in chrome, black, and stainless steel. Go to Folks, go to Folks, go to our two locations. I've been thinking lately. All things considered, I'm pretty special. I've had choices, made mistakes, but if I had to do it all over again, I wouldn't change a thing. I'll never be a size six again. I'm getting older, but these things aren't important. What is important are my needs, my health, and my children's health. These are things I'll never compromise. Your life, your needs, your hospital. Women's and Children's Hospital. The all-new 99 Sierra, the truck for the one percenters, those who want more. A more comfortable interior, a more powerful Vortex V8 engine, a stronger, stiffer, lighter frame. The reviews. 99 Sierra is arguably the new state-of-the-art in the full-size truck business. A deal. Now, get special smart buy or smart lease payments on all new 99 GMC Sierras. See your change in country GMC dealers today. Values matter. Land matters. Friends.
friendships matter. And at Hibernia, service matters. The kind that brings value and convenience to you. With checking and savings accounts that actually give you something back. So why not switch to your hometown bank? We understand the things that matter most to you. Hibernia, where service matters. putting security in a whole new light. Beacon Alarms, putting security in a whole new light. Goals of the Week. Goals of the Week, sponsored by Beacon Alarms. I mean, Gochi made the save, so I had a chance to win the game. And I just, uh, the ice was rough, so I was thinking about just coming down and shooting it, but the goalie stayed on the left side, and it just went to my backhand and put it pretty well in the empty net. Coach, looking at it again, that goal by Spoltor is a really good way to finish off that first exhibition game. Yeah, it was, and I hope there's a lot more of those to come, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's time now for our Rehab XL training tips, and we've got a, a new trainer, not just a new coach, a new broadcaster, a lot of new faces. Johnny Gomez is the trainer this year. You've had a chance to work with him for a couple weeks now, and talk a little bit about him. Well, Johnny comes highly qualified from us from the XL Rehab Center. I mean, he's working well with the players, and that's what I need as a coach. I need a guy that's going to work well with the, with the players because, of, of course, he's going to be handling them, and he comes with us, and he's got a good attitude. He's here to work hard and I'm excited to have him. Let's take a look at what Johnny Gomez has for us this week on Rehab Excel Training Tips. Training Tips brought to you by Rehab XL. Johnny, welcome to, uh, to Lafayette, Louisiana Ice Skaters. Why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself and, and where you've been the last few years. Uh, my name is Johnny Gomez. Uh, I graduated from University of Southwestern Louisiana or now of University of Louisiana at Lafayette. Uh, I went to Ole Miss for one year of graduate school, and then I came down for a summer job with the Bayou Bullfrogs, and after that, they offered me the job here with the Ice Skaters. I'm originally from Houston, Texas, and happy to be here. Well, it's quite a change going from baseball to hockey. Talk a little bit first about working for the, the Bullfrogs and how you liked it over there. Oh, I really enjoyed it. Uh, a lot of games. You have 83, 84 games in a matter of three and a half months, whereas here you have 70 games in seven, eight months. So uh, not as much stress, but still, you know, it's a bigger organization, so you'd still have some stress. But it was good. I enjoyed the Bullfrogs, and now I'm really enjoying the Ice Skaters. Talk a little bit about the differences you've seen already working with baseball players and working with hockey players, if there is any difference. Uh, there's some difference uh, in attitude. Uh, Baseball players are, you know, they they kind of get stressed out and traveling on the road and stuff. Things just, you know, tension between players, stuff like that. But, you know, that that all works itself out. And here, you know, the guys treat me great. Uh, it's always, Johnny, can I help you with this? Or, you know, can you get me this, please? You know, always a lot of thank yous and stuff like that. So that helps out a lot, too. Talk a little bit about your day-to-day -day responsibilities and what you do over here with the ice skaters. Day-to-day -day responsibilities just consist of, number one, reporting to the coach, telling him who's hurt, who's not, give him kind of an injury report and how everybody stands as far as practice. Uh, from that, I usually come in, start treating whoever. As they slowly come in, I'll heat them up, do some ultrasound, uh, some stem if, that, if need be, help them stretch. Uh, you know, some of them make sure they weigh in. I like to kind of maintain their weights see how much they lose at practice and so forth um, and then after practice I usually come to practice and then I help set up the bench make sure they all have water and so forth and then after that I go inside and just kind of ice down everybody who's injured and then again I report to the coach after that and just basically document all my injuries and treatments of the day all right well thanks for joining us and we'll see you uh, each and every week for the next 26 weeks thanks a lot thank you
Oh, Yuri. Oh, you hate to see that happen. Players in the NHL don't take that kind of abuse. Someone make him stop. So, you know, being an instructor with the Navy SEALs isn't all it's cracked up to be. You are getting desperate. You no, know, I'm always like this. I really have no chance with you girls, do I? Be honest, I could take it. Yes, but we cannot. You all are like angels, I tell you. This guy is making me sick. Hey, you're not the only one. Oh, 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 oh. The all-new 99 Sierra, the truck for the one percenters, those who want more. A more comfortable interior, a more powerful Vortex V8 engine, a stronger, stiffer, lighter frame. The reviews. 99 Sierra is arguably the new state-of-the-art in the full-size truck business. A deal. Now, get special smart buy or smart lease payments on all new 99 GMC Sierras. See your Cajun Country GMC dealers today. Join us while the Vita special feelings free in South Louisiana today. Where we say the Vauton Roulette. Oh, baby. Join Fox 15 this Tuesday, October 19th for another taping of Laissez Le Vauton Roulette at Randall's Restaurant. Come dance to the music of Kevin Nike and the awesome Playboys at 7 p.m. this Tuesday. It's another Laissez Le Vauton Roulette at Randall's. I'll see you there. Welcome back to Chomp Time. And, Coach, we've got another new segment. Right now, it's the Fox Kids Club. Kids, you can ask your favorite ice skater a question. Coach, you, you can't do that. You're excluded. Uh, as long as it's for the kids, that's okay. Kids, you send your question on a VHS video cassette. You can send it to the ice skater's office. Attention, Fox Kids Club at 444 Cajun Dome Boulevard, Lafayette, Louisiana, 70506. If we use your tape on the air, you'll get two free tickets to an upcoming ice skater's game. So be sure to send in your tapes. And, uh, Coach, looking forward to seeing what the kids have to ask their favorite ice skater. Oh, yeah. It's always great. When you get the kids involved, it's always fun to see what they have to say. I'm looking forward to it, too. Well, we're almost out of time this week, but we've got a lot more shows ahead of us. So, Coach, great seeing you. Welcome to Lafayette, and uh, we'll see you again next week. Great. Thanks a lot. And we'll see all of you next week as well, right here on Chomp Time. Chomp Time was brought to you by the Medical Center of Southwest Louisiana, Women's and Children's Hospital, Cajun Country GMC dealers, Bud Light, and...